Hi, Ian Roberts, Mastering Composition and Simplifying the Painting Process. So last week I did a short video and then added a second video of the demonstration of six or seven minutes and everybody went straight to the demo. So I figured this way, this week, I'm going straight to the demo myself. So there's only one video and it's uh, the image I'm doing is early morning light. Now, filmmakers love the golden hour, sort of the last hour before sunset because of how beautiful the light is. And so plein air painters or people taking photographs for landscape, that hour or so in the early morning and in the late afternoon when you get these big beautiful shadows, big masses of light and dark, warm and cool. So this is the photograph that I worked from. This is a roughly toned canvas that I started with just to sort of get rid of the white and to put in perhaps some interesting colors if they were to show through. And this is the first block in after about 45 minutes. And then there's a second, you know, I, I put a second layer on that just sort of gets more nuanced and it just makes everything richer. And then here is the final painting. So this is about a seven minute demo. I'm just taking clips of the process that I filmed and I hope you found it useful. So I'm just brought block. So I'm just blocking this in very roughly now big masses all the dark shapes first this is all in shadow everything i'm painting now it's the background uh, mountain And here I'll just show you roughly how I'm blocking in the gradation of the water. I take a jump and then mix the two colors together and just sort of blend them. But you'll see that this whole block in just gives the idea and then I come back and I do the whole thing again, uh, nuancing the color and adjusting it so that it's kind of deeper and richer. Uh, a new set of colors similar to the old ones, but just get deeper and richer in the second layer. But I'm holding the brush very lightly there, you know, I mean, I'm just sort of just feathering the two edges together and I'm not worrying too much about how perfect it is now because there will be another layer going in on top of this. And then you just see that the two layers, the two colors just kind of getting blended. And then now I do the same thing up in the sky. It's cobalt blue. But I'm not using any medium. I mean, I'm just getting paint, enough paint on the brush just to fill in the... There was a cloud, actually. You can just vaguely see it in the photograph that I quite liked, kind of, I quite liked coming down into that tall tree. And you can see that I sort of leave a space for it in the sky. And in the end, I figured it was, didn't really work. See, there it is. I'm just leaving the space for it now. 
Do you see I get a fair amount of paint on there? There's no turps or anything. I'm just pushing paint into the canvas. And I'm not worrying too much about that gradation now, because you'll see, as I paint it, once this is done, you know, I put it outside and sort of let it dry. And by the next day, yeah, you know, a good part of it's pretty dry. And you'll see that on the second day, I can just go right into each of these, and it just gets uh, more nuanced, richer, and the gradations are smoother. Because, I mean, you could do it on the first time if you wanted to. So I'm just still, well there's some sunlight hitting the trees in the back. Um, I'm just putting in the edge between the water and the there, I'm just starting to put in the sunlit shapes, really warm. I mean, they look sort of crazy now, but they, they kind of fall into place as it goes along. But it is very true. I mean, you do need to create a, 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 a gap between the warm and the cool. Otherwise, we don't perceive them. As uh, see there now, this is the whole thing. I'm, there I'm doing the second layer. It's a much smoother gradation. I'm making a point of me, and you know, that little cloud's gone. And I'm just sort of putting in some darks, so that those, the tops of those sunlit trees are kind of standing out. Same thing down here, just gradating, softer gradation. I mean, you can see how dark it is in the foreground. I've made it narrower so that it kind of pulls us into the picture plane more and not such a big, wide pond looking shape. It's very much a canal. And the truth is, even when I looked at the photograph, I couldn't quite tell what was going on at the back. But I've made it a river or stream, and you'll see that I continue, that's what I'm doing now. I'm putting the stream in a, as it goes around the bend there, so that we see it moving back into space. And we, it's just another marker for depth, so that we're getting pulled into the distance. And then this is just, just, Again, putting a shaft of sunlight through the foreground. But you just, you can see how warm it is compared to, I mean, that's not that cool a green really, but you can see how warm it looks. Um, and then the other side is greener. So the color is different on that side. So as always, I hope you found that engaging and helpful. You can please like it and share it with your friends. Uh, I hope you have a marvelously engaging week full of creativity and joy, such that we can find it these days. And I will see you next Tuesday. All the best and bye for now.